Ready, go. What's going on everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. I haven't seen you here since a little while on the channel, but now we are back. I hope Christmas was great for every one of you and today I'm back with a little tutorial for everyone out there that would like to make his GoPro or DJI awesome action footage look better and more cinematic. So let's get started. As we just had Christmas, I'm pretty sure that someone out there got the GoPro or DJI awesome action or other action cam. I feel like a lot of people in my age that want to get into video and maybe go skateboarding or skiing and want to capture it that is like such a standard thing that people buy in my age or get in my age for Christmas you know film their own skate videos or ski videos or whatever the problem though that I've seen in the past is a lot of people don't know how to use a action cam like this one and your footage ends up looking something like this the thing that a lot of people don't realize in the beginning is that a lot of how your footage is going to look like is defined in the editing process in how you color your videos in what tools you use to make your videos more cinematic more professional and that's what i would like to show you today on my computer you've maybe seen one of the videos already that i've captured only using this camera and i would like to show you how i edit videos like this and how you can get similar results not only for this camera but also for every gopro and every other action cam that's it the first thing that you need to think about is actually how you record your videos and i've made a video it's here or here i still don't know where it is after two years and in that video i explain all the settings that i use with the dji awesome action but they also can be used with the gopro to get uh, better results and to get the most out of the camera once you did that you already have a lot so you should get outside and film something dope like skating or skating or <laughs> And then the second big part which is super important is the editing process and I actually want to let you know that I've made a action cam LUT pack. I have created a pack that includes all the tools and LUTs that I use to edit my footage. If you want to check it out it's linked below. I'm also going to use some of the tools from the pack in this video. So let's now check out how I edit my action cam videos on my computer in Premiere Pro. You can just apply the same things for your GoPro and DJI Awesome Action footage and you will get similar results. So. Go. Now we're here on my computer. One more thing that I need to mention. I shot all of this footage on a flat picture profile, which means there's not much contrast and it allows you to go further in the edit and in the color correction and that makes it way easier to edit your footage. So you should probably do that as well. Okay, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's the editing software that I use to make my videos. Um, here I've created a couple of folders. Here's Osmo Action. I've created a couple of different folders for this tutorial. Here we have the clips that we are going to edit. They are all shot in the DJ Osmo Action. A few different clips of skateboarding and skiing. And then we have a couple of sound effects that are also included in my Action Cam LUT pack that we can use to make our videos better. And then we have crop bars, which you will see very soon what that is. Um, so let's just start with one clip. Here we have the raw footage, how it came out from the camera. Let's start with this clip of my friend. This clip is from the video that I've created, the ski video. So here we set an in point and then an out point that's already enough. Then I click on the footage and I drag it onto my timeline. I'm just going to ask if I would like to keep the sequence settings and I say keep settings. And then we have it here on our timeline. I'm not going to go too much into detail. I just want to show you how I edit the colors mainly and not too much about speed ramps and slow motion. That's the clip as it comes out from the camera. When I color correct, I like to make an adjustment layer. You do that by pressing new item and then it says adjustment layer. And then that's fine, full HD, 24p. Ok, and here you have your adjustment layer. I take it, drag it on top of my footage. And now we have a new adjustment layer. And now I have here Lumetri color opened and I can color correct my footage. To start, I'm going to use one of the LUTs from the pack. So let's go down here to creative and it says look, let's press here and let's say browse. Here are the six LUTs that you're gonna get if you download this. So Alpine Forest, Jungle, Ocean, Summer and Urban. I think for this clip I'm gonna try Summer. So let's apply it. As you can see, it looks too strong, so we can adjust the intensity here. So you're gonna bring it down, and that's without a lot. And then you're just simply gonna add it until you think it's fine. I think somewhere around there it looks pretty good. I like to have some color in this and to have some blue tones. So let's play this back. I think that's already pretty good. Um, if we turn this off and on, you can already see how much that changes. 
I would maybe go to the basic correction and just make it a little warmer because it's sunset so bring it there and maybe bring the shadows up a little bit and last thing I usually like to bring the highlights down because the sun is so bright here but if we play this back now I think that already pretty much did the job for us so let's try this out with another clip and um, let's go search for something different so here we have another clip I already selected the in and out point this is my brother doing a blunt in the mini wrap and that's a dope clip so let's import it here on our timeline let's bring this up there and that's our second clip what i like to do is um, press c on the keyboard and cut the adjustment layer here then i click on it and i reset it so that we can use a different color correction here we are going to try a different light so let's go to creative look browse and we are going to try forest even though it is not the forest but let's try um, as you can see it already gives a lot of contrast and looks pretty cool i would leave it there it maybe looks a little too strong but i would now go to the basic correction and bring up um, the exposure a little bit maybe bring down the highlights slightly and bring up the shadows just a little bit and if we play this now I can maybe bring the exposure up just a little bit, but from now on it's all tweaking, you know, you sit there for hours and just decide if one step further or not. <laughs> and if we look at the before and after here by pressing the eyeball, I think that did the job pretty well. We are going to leave it here. Let's search for one last clip. Okay, I found a clip. This is such a cool clip of my friend snowboarding in the sunset. I already selected an in and an out point. So let's drag it down there. And now as you can see, it's cropped in. That's because it's filmed in 4K. So to scale it to our size, we are going to go to effects control and bring the scale to 50%. And then we have it on full HD size. Now again, press C on your keyboard, cut the adjustment layer here. Then we are going to drag this to the end of the clip and go up here and reset the color. Now we will select a different color grade. Let's go to creative. Let's click look, browse, and then for this one, I would like to choose ocean. So let's press that. As you can see, it gives it this popular teal and orange look, but that's maybe a little too much. So let's bring it down to 80, I think looks okay. If we play this back now, it's maybe still a little bit too strong, but I would say it looks pretty cool. If we now turn this off and on, you can see it makes the footage way better and that's already the color grade that I do for most of my clips, for the clips that I shoot in this camera. Then now we have our first step done, the most important thing, the color grading. Now we will add a few other things that you can use to make your footage look more cinematic. So first up, I would like to bring this adjustment layer one layer down here, just so that we can do some other things. The second thing is on some clips, I like to use a de-warp effect. A de-warp effect is basically an effect that you apply to your footage and then your footage will get rid of this extreme fisheye effect because you maybe know that action cameras usually have this super wide fisheye effect, which is cool for skateboarding and some skiing clips. But for example, for this clip here, I would like to remove it. So to do that, I'm going to go to effect and then I've created my own action presets. Here are the three presets that I use for my action videos. I'm going to include that into the LUT pack. So here we have anti fisheye it's called. So we are going to take that and drag it on our footage. And as you can see right away, it removes the extreme fisheye look. If we turn lens distortion here on and off, you can see what it does. It just makes all the work lines look more straight. That's what it does. You can definitely also achieve this yourself. You don't have to have a preset for this. Uh, you can simply type in lens distortion in your effects panel and you can play around with different settings. But this is what I find to be the best settings for the GoPro and DJI Osmo Action. Anyway, that is only for this clip. Then the next thing that I always add since a few months, which I haven't seen in a lot of other tutorials is I like to add the denoise effect because I find that small cameras like uh, the Osmo Action or the GoPro or also drones have a very noisy image, which means there's a lot of this weird noise and that just looks unprofessional in my opinion and not cinematic. So to remove the noise, I have this effect here called Denoiser and you simply click on it, add it to your adjustment layer, to all three clips, one, two, three. 
and you can't see the difference right away but if you look at the video that has the noise turned on you will see how much of a difference that's gonna make and I need to say it will make the image a little softer but I think that's actually good for action cams because they look very over sharp when the image comes out of the camera it looks too sharp in my opinion so I apply this effect and as you could see it makes a difference that's what I do with the effects now let's go on to the next step which are crop bars for those of you that don't know it yet crop bars are basically these bars on the button on the top of your footage it does not really do anything to the image but it makes it feel like it was shot on a cinema camera because cinema cameras are in these formats and in the cinema you have a wide format a different format and by adding these bars you achieve that and it gives it a cinematic look so to do that go here to the crop bars I've also included this in the LUT pack so click on crop bars then we have 4k and HD this is a HD timeline so let's select HD and let's go with the second one which is what we want so let's take it and just drag it on top of your footage bring it all the way to the end so that it's applied to our whole sequence and then as you can see if we turn it on and off it adds these two bars which are going to make it look more cinematic I'm pretty sure you can also find this bar somewhere for free on a website but I've created my own bar so yeah and the next thing that we are going to look at is sound effects for these clips it's pretty hard because we don't have a lot that we can add when it comes to sound but usually I like to use different sound effects for my videos that I create with this camera for example swooshes and transition sounds which are little add-ons to your footage in sound that are going to make it feel more cinematic I also usually like to add ambient sound effects which are for example birds or fire sound or something like that if the footage includes for example a campfire I will add my own campfire sound but if we look at these clips here there is not much we can do the only thing that I might do is add the sound effect here with the skate clip. So here are the sound effects that I've included into the pack. Here we have the outdoor sound effects which are ambient sound effects. But we don't need that now, we need transition sound effects. And let's maybe select the first one. As you can see just a short swoosh. Let's click on here and bring it to the skate clip. I would like to position it here where he lands in the mini ramp again and then it just adds on to the footage. Let's have a look at this. Very subtle effect, I don't know if you could even hear it. It makes a difference though. And I believe in general that things like this make a difference in the whole video. <laughs> then one more thing that you can do when the edit starts, you can press command and click on this line here and another keyframe and that is going to allow you to fade in your footage so let's drag this all the way down there and now we have a fade in but what I like to do is make a little curve fade in that will change the way that it's going to fade in so let's say comment and click on this point and now you can change this curve here and I like to bring it to this side so that it first goes slow and then it fades in all of a sudden so let's have a look at this and these are just some more little things that I like to do. Then the last thing that I would do if I edit like this is add music. I'm not going to do it here. You can use whatever song you like. The only thing that you need to look at if you upload the video on YouTube or Instagram, you need to use a track that's non-copyright. And I use a service called Musicpad for this. I really like the service. It has a lot of cool music and I use it for all my videos. I plan to do a video though where I reveal all my favorite music that I use for my cinematic videos. That was our edit without talking into the camera now and explaining this. I probably would have this in like two minutes or something like that. The last thing that you do is you go up here to file, export, media. I have created my own preset for exporting videos but I'm going to show you how I do this. And I have this format H.264, the standard format. And then down here I actually changed that. Actually one of you out there taught me this. In order to avoid that YouTube comes and compresses your videos and it looks shitty. Which I found out that they often do with action cam footage in particular. You should change your export settings from 1080p to 1440p. And I don't know exactly how this works but that way YouTube isn't going to compress your footage. And that's why I do that. I exported 24 frames because we have a 24 frames timeline. And then here I leave everything, make sure that rendered maximum depth is checked. Then go down here and here I usually select VBR 2 pass. It takes a little longer to render but it's going to render all the footage twice. And as the target bitrate I choose 30 and as the maximum 50 that should be fine. Then here you should check use maximum render quality. And then you're going to say export. 
As you can see, it's not that complicated to make your action cam footage look cinematic and professional. Here's how this video would look like straight out of the camera. And here's how it looks like after doing this little edit. It just makes a huge difference and I would like to see everyone, you know, getting the most out of the little action cameras because I really believe that it's a cool tool to use for not only skate videos but also everything else that you can do with it. That being said, if you have any further questions about this topic and how to edit or shoot with action cams, you can leave them below or DM me on Instagram. I will try to get you back. And one more time, if you want to support this channel and get something for that, and you know improve your own footage then you can check out the lab back it's still linked below i hope you enjoyed this video i will try to use this as much as possible in the future and make some dope skate videos and ski edits i wish everyone a great end of the year and i will see you in the next video bye bye thanks for watching this one and peace